Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' was cracking it. Steve about to react to this event by KB Goes Live. It's titled, Aiden Ross Gets Banned from LA by TDE Goons. What? People have told me to react to this situation. Um, okay, I'm assuming he is, like, talking uh, badly about Kendrick. That's the only thing I could think of, but, but yeah, let's watch. So apparently Aiden Ross is banned from LA. He's not allowed to pop out anymore, or at least that's what the streets are saying. And this comes after Aiden Ross has publicly been showing support for Drake since the whole beef between Drake and Kendrick oh, Lamar started. And people Drake? on the West Coast feel disrespected. And it all pretty much started with this that's clip weird. right here of Aiden Ross in the club when the song Not Like Us like comes Drake? on. And he pretty much says this is trash. Oh. It's not just support of Drake. <laughs> it's disrespect of Kendrick. Okay, because I, when he said support of Drake, I'm just like, wait, you can't get mad just because he liked Drake. But I see. I've never, I've heard people say they're tired of that song and they're over it, played out, blah, blah, blah. Sure. All of those things makes more sense for you to say. You don't want to hear it anymore. It's played everywhere. But to say it's trash, I've not heard one person say it was trash. It's like, okay, you are dick riding heavy. <laughs> you 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 gotta let this man's penis breathe a little. Like, come on. Come trash. Trash. Come on. I mean, I'm tired of it too. I don't even hear it like that, to be honest, anymore. Uh I mean, I also don't be going out like that. It's not like I'm in the clubs or at parties and stuff often. Um, but yeah, I've not heard people play this nearly as much anymore, just being out and about randomly at like events and stuff. But uh, I am tired of it also, but I would never call it trash. Come on. <laughs> Now, that's He's singing it right next to it. The conversation between these West Coast goons and A Ross started at, although they never called him out for what that. They just kind of let it sit on the back burner. And I guess over time, <laughs> they've been letting A Ross's support for Drake just build up and eat away at them over time. time. Now, the other day, I guess this hit a boiling point when A Ross joined one of academic streams that he was doing. And during this stream, academics was interviewing this dude, Top Five, who is a, I don't know, put in quotes a rapper coming out of Canada now if you ain't familiar with top five he actually has a pretty thick history in them streets out there in Canada bro has notoriously been fighting bodies for the last couple of years where right, most people would consider this top five dude a certified goon a threat a real danger to society so that's why right? he's, like, he's also been credited as being Drake's shooter <laughs> his top goon and so they're on the stream of academics and top five says hey we are about to run a not like us music video we're finna play it and i'm gonna be looking through it for all of the people that participated he said it was a lot of people in this video with y'all's faces showing we're gonna become familiar with y'all pretty much what? if we ever see y'all out here in canada is up me and drake are gonna link up in a couple of days and we're gonna do this I was, podcast i was i was not expecting this man to sound like this how he was hyping him up i was not <laughs> i was not expecting this voice in this cadence, I wasn't. And, and we're gonna play not like us video. We're gonna look at every in the video. We're gonna do homework. <laughs> we're gonna read some work. Now, top five academics, Aiden Ross. These are a couple of the most outstanding Drake meat writers in the industry, right? So it's not really crazy that they're on stream defending Drake, talking down about Kendrick. It's just not shocking, right? And during that live stream, top five is really the antagonist. I and mean, he's the bad guy. He's the one that's talking the utmost shit. He's the one saying they're going to pick through the video and identify people. And if they catch them in Canada, they going to find them. But for whatever reason, and Aiden Ross actually was the one that caught a big portion of the backlash. And that came from the guys over at Figmunity. Now, Figmunity is a podcast hosted by basically a bunch of No Jumper dropouts, <laughs> right? If No <laughs> Jumper was a college, these are the guys that showed up, did a couple months, and then was like, nah, you know what? I think I'm going to be getting up out of here. And when oh. they left, they started this podcast called Figmunity. And they were watching this stream. And during them watching and reacting to that they basically said if we ever catch Aiden Ross out here, we gonna slap fire out of him. Oh, he's from Canada, Aiden Ross? Nah, nah he's Jewish. Where are you from? He's like, he's like, 
You got to turn this off. This is right. so A and Ross driven too. Oh, what's up with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, ain't much going on in that clip other than AD talks about Aiden Ross and his prior quote-unquote disrespect for Kendrick Lamar's record, Not Like Us. He basically says every time Aiden sees it, he puts on a disgusted face, asks people to turn it off. He's picked a side. And there's this other dude in that podcast named Smack. Now, Smack, I guess, is loosely affiliated with TDE. And Smack says, okay, that's cool. When I see him, I'm going to smack him. Which, I mean, those are words that could cause you know a little scruple to happen but it wasn't nothing too crazy people talk like this all the time about other people it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a war brewing between everybody however aim ross heard this felt ultra disrespected by it, walked out his mansion into his backyard <laughs> climbed up on the diving board and jumped off the deep end from LA. I'm not banned from LA, bro. I wish somebody would. I swear to God, I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do to me. I promise you, bro. I don't give a f like. You think I'm scared of LA? Why? I lived in LA for years and years and years. I'm not banned. Nigga, you lived in the Valley, most likely, or Hollywood. I love when people talk this big shit from the comfort of be behind their camera. <laughs> so like, oh, you think I'm scared of LA? That's how you talking? I really want to see how this plays out. I'm not, I'm not going to say nothing else. Really? That old ass on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me. But I'm out of security. Well, not me. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know. He tried to correct that quickly. Your ass. It's that simple, bro. Now, I'm going to be real. Think, it's, thinking your security guards can completely save you is like peak ignorance and peak stupidity. To talk this this much shit and think, oh, my security. I have security guys. They're going to protect me from all the, the all the bullets, all the guns. and all. That's not, that's. That's not how things work. These high profile rappers, you think they don't have security around them when, when shit goes down and, and, and they get killed? And your security can be there, sure, most times, but there are always gonna be times where you are able to be caught slipping. So if they got caught slipping, what makes you think that you could never be caught slipping and you're so invincible and untouchable i think this is very stupid of him very 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 dumb seeing this response i was a little baffled a little discombobulated because i don't know who told aiden ross he was banned from la we just watched the clip from the podcast all he said was i'm gonna smack you and aiden ross made this response video talking about i'm not banned from la bro i swear to god i'm gonna pop out there wherever i want to and i'm, I'm more so baffled that he's making threats back and being like oh I'm my security gonna do just don't know where he got the information that he was banned from LA from but regardless that was his response like I said bro went out in his backyard of his mansion maybe they said boy from the pocket climbed up the diving board jumped out the deep end and got to talking extremely reckless which for Aiden Ross isn't necessarily crazy we've seen Aiden Ross say outlandish things before it's kind of part of his whole spiel it's what got him put on was doing and saying wild things so while I was a little confused by the response i'm not surprised by it at all i mean maybe he got it from the chat maybe the chat was spamming banned in la so he was responding to them i'm not 100 where he got that from but regardless he gets on there and he basically says i'm not banned from nowhere and in fact when i see you i'm gonna slap you so we're gonna rip the old i'll rubber your glue whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks back to you no classic comeback but the guys from the big unity podcast felt some type of way about this response which eventually uh, leads to this thing heating up a little bit. But one of who is he calling? Oh, dang, oh. Right. And I swear to God, and I swear to God, I'm gonna slap him. And even if his security is from LA, like, they gonna get slapped too. So if he comes a lot of town security, they really gonna get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just has put himself into an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA. Aiden Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. No, that this part. whole situation is pretty dumb. I don't really get the whole you're banned from L.A. thing. Like, they seem to be pretty much the only city in America that think they can ban people from coming to the city. Like, what? What? People do that everywhere. That's, that's where the whole notion comes that you got to check in. You know, you got to. And if you don't, then the people, the goons of that city, they get mad and they're like, hey, don't come back here. What? We hear stuff like this all the time. This is not, you know, specific to L.A.
whatsoever. I mean, I think it's all goofy too. All this gang activity and shit is very dumb. I, I'm not saying I support it or anything or I'm behind it, but it, it's just a thing. It, it is what it is. It's the reality that it occurs. So, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> One of the largest cities in the whole of the United States. And we got people trying to ban other people from coming there. People that don't even own anything probably in the city of L.A. Talking about you're banned. I mean, it is like this vague people threat that. of oh, security get popped every day, B. Like, okay, bro. Yeah, let's take it there because a disc record made by an artist that is not affiliated with you in any way is being disrespected by one of the most famous streamers in the world. Let's take it to the when I see you, you gonna get pop face. Like, bro, come on, man. Grow up. Now, if Aiden Ross comes to LA everybody. and anything happens to him, who do you think the police is gonna be looking at? Where is the first place you think they're gonna go check? You and your house, bro. Because yeah, okay. you just finished directly sending a threat to this man however i don't maybe not this guy specifically because i don't know him but the people around them okay usually the people who are making these comments and they're the face of shit they're not the ones doing the dirty work usually it's people that are that they know (laughs) so even if they come question him it's like wait what you mean i was i was here streaming like look look at the timestamps. i don't know what you're talking about i don't know what's going on i was just talking it was just entertainment I don't play, you know, any of these dudes' street credentials. They may really be built like that. But eventually, he did come to his senses and say to himself, you know what? I may not want beef with these guys like that. Let me go ahead and go from being a straight G to being a straight punk. And he did that by basically telling them, hey, bro, if you do something to me, I'm calling the police. And I got great lawyers. You just sent a threat to me online. You threatened my personal safety, bro. You lucky I don't contact attack my lawyers oh, about this God. whole situation. Hey, Ross, let me, uh, let me give you a tip. Shit. Why were you talking security shit then? And be like, you think I'm scared of LA? I ain't, I'm do what I want. I got my security, my security. I slap the shit out of you. Now I'm going to get my lawyers and I'm going to call 911 on you. This is, I hate people. <laughs> this is so good. You for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Your life. Come on, let's try it. Let's 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 make some. Let's try it, pal. Come on, try it. At least you'll go to jail for what minimum five years in LA. What is it? I get. I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm a low key for that. You want to? I can't wait, yo. Let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. Saying you gonna sue you, sir, you niggas ASAP. Is Don't ever throw my life again, you big most out of touch family. This podcast not for you. I'm not again. Not maybe not this guy specifically because I'm not. I'm not familiar with him. I don't, so don't be like, oh, he ain't, but I don't know. I don't fucking know him. Again, I'm talking about the people who would actually do the dirty work. Those are the people that would, <laughs> they ain't got shit to lose. So you trying to suit. You know I'm not a gangster. I'm not about that life at all. That's why I said security is going to do what they're going to do. But now I'm going straight to my lawyer. No, a lot of people going to be like, oh, hey, Ross is a straight so up punk for doing that. Bro, ran straight to the police. But my response to that is, yeah, of course, that's what he did, bro. He should have hey, did that Ross first. Not out here in Why was he talking? He did not grow up in the ghetto. He don't participate so in the street the shenanigans, bro. What else did you expect from this man? You expected him to pull up and get down, have a squabble with you? Like, of course, that's not what he's going to do, bro. He's going to do what an average citizen would do. He should have. Act like an average citizen to start with. What are we talking about? uh, Pursue some type of legal action. (laughs) Right? See, that tough talk you bear from the city when we catch you, we going to get you. That talk works on people that are in the streets, that are living that life. It don't work on regular citizens, bro. A regular citizen will report your ass to the police. And that's exactly what Aiden said he was going to do. And that's exactly what Aiden should have said he was going to do because Aiden Ross cannot (laughs) compete with them goons out there in LA, bro. He don't know the right people to keep him safe when he goes to the city. I'm not saying that the ban doesn't if have If anything, that makes it easier to enforce that ban. Especially, here. like, he's a fucking streamer. Like, he, he probably... I'm sure he moves very loudly as far as, like, posting, hey, Chad, I'm in LA, I'm linked with this person and that person. It's not difficult to trace where you are and, you know, or where you're the vicinity that you're in, you know? Uh, LA is big, but the, the areas that people like Aiden go to, very, very small. Okay, so, yeah. 
That, whatever. Bro. Well, may that's happen true. to him. And that's why I think the response he gave them was the only Did response he should have gave them. Because no, at the end of the day, Aiden Ross bad. is not prepared to Ross go blow to blow with these so people. Stupid. However, this wasn't necessarily the end of the whole beef because mm -hmm. during another live stream Aiden was doing, he was talking with his manager and his manager actually revealed that he knows this guy Smack that was threatening Aiden. Right? And Aiden act shocked about it, but he continues to say, dang, that's your friend, you know him? That's crazy, bro, because I'm going to sue him. Oh, oh, did you see what that guy responded with? Mm. Well, you know that guy? Shut the fuck up. Well, I'm gonna sue him, so. That's your friend that was running Aiden? Nice friend you have. <laughs> that guy's your friend. Why is he? You actually know him. Why? He doesn't even know Kendrick. Why is he, like, riding it like that? I don't know who he knows. It's time for now, right in the middle of him having this conversation. And you talking about somebody riding dick, but you... The manager, he actually gets a phone call from another creator named FaZe Banks. If you don't know who FaZe Banks is, I mean, I don't know, I guess just look him up. Apparently, FaZe Banks is tapped in in them L.A. streets. I would have never known. But apparently, FaZe Banks is tapped in in them L.A. streets. He calls Aiden and he says, hey, bro, do you need me to make a couple of phone calls on your behalf? Oh, FaZe Banks has called me. Hey, Banks, I'm live. What's good? What up, baby girl? Say hi to the chat. Goody chat. Yeah, I just saw some crazy clip about somebody saying you're not good in LA. Yeah, some like fat guy. You need me to make a couple phone calls? Yeah, bro. That guy's that guy's nobody. But go ahead. You, you gotta be. I need you to be Big Brother at Banks and, and figure that. Just letting you know you're always good in LA. Oh, I know. I walk down the road so butt naked. Cool. Melrose. <laughs> You out of town niggas think that's where the hood niggas is at? Is on Melrose? Oh, I hate these people who move. <laughs> this is why LA has such a bad reputation, bro. I hate y'all, bro. Rub this up. This is irritating. I know. Who do you think This nigga said, I will be with you hand in hand on Melrose. You need me to make a couple calls, brother? Melrose? Come to a seventy-two hour live stream in LA. Yeah, just like in the streets. I'm actually down at this point just to piss that guy off. You're good. You're you're 100 percent good. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Tell that uh, tell that tell that man, man. You know. Now these dudes that were threatening Aiden Ross would see and hear this video clip of Faze Bank saying, "Nah, bro, you're good in LA. You should pop out and do a seventy-two hour stream." And they didn't take kindly to that. Nah, they felt disrespected once again. So they decided that they were gonna speak on it. They go live, and here's what they had to say. And who is this? I talk fast. Look, Banks. He's Banks. Right here. Banks. You can't come to LA now, you. <laughs> and I want y'all to do a 72 hour stream and walk down Mary Rose so I can kick you in your ass while you naked. Don't so want that. That'd be fire if them we walk down Mary Rose stream and stand where I'm at. Cause I swear I'm gonna pull up, boy. <laughs> I ain't even better stop the car, man. <laughs> For reality, you know, okay. mama, banks, whatever your daughter, your auntie, your granny, come get it in blood. But you know, they they can't stream, you ain't gonna know where they at. They can walk around LA. No, they can't. No, they can't. I'm from LA, I know background, I know everything. It's my city. You can be in a restaurant, yeah, I'm gonna know where you at. Yeah, no, who's on my way? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a genius. Bro is legit out here beefing with a civilian. That's crazy. Now, Aiden himself, knowing that he's a civilian, eventually would look at this situation after taking a step back and saying, you know what? I don't think I want to have these problems with these dudes. This ain't my lane. I don't feel like jumping into this and lane. Now you I come to really the conclusion. Smoke with these guys. So he ended up booting up his camera, going live, and apologizing. Guys, I've been uh, I've been talking to people from LA. Uh, I'm, so I'm actually coming to LA in about probably a couple weeks. People talked to me from LA and they said, "Nigga, this ain't what you want. Fuck with Faze talking about this. You you don't want to play these games, brother. You you barking up the wrong tree. Bad bad idea." And now you want to get your bitch ass on here and apologize after you did all of that. This is so embarrassing. First off, all of this is stupid. It's all dumb. Everybody involved. This is all goofy. Okay, <laughs> all of the antics are goofy. But with Aiden is. He's in the chat. 
probably coming in a couple weeks. We're gonna probably do some horror night streams. Gonna go around, do a couple podcasts, stuff like, like that. Like, stay so, in your corny uh, ass I lane, wanna, bro. I want to clarify and, and take a step back and really, you know, in the moment, obviously, I was talking crazy and shit. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm not necessarily apologizing to people I was talking towards, but I do want to say one thing. LA is to not be f- with. LA is a serious place, and I love LA. Seriously, I love LA. Um, now, I- that's how funny his tune is changing. He definitely talked to some people who gave him the rundown of what actually occurs here. Um, because initially he's like, You think I'm scared of LA? I live in LA. Like, what is there to be scared of? Because again, Snake Pride was in the valley. A lot of the influencers and streamers who move here, they move to the safer areas. They move to the valley. And they even move to Hollywood, which is bit, it's much safer, even though Hollywood is very ghetto in certain areas but it's much safer than the hood parts of LA so they are very out of touch and they don't understand what real LA consists of so I was very surprised to hear him be like I ain't scared of damn LA what, what are they about to do he talked to some people and he's like oh wait man this, LA is a very serious place there's nothing to be played with goofy I'm not folding I still say you the people that were coming at me you um but I, I'm not saying you to to all of LA because I'm not even joking bro People that are uh, in a certain amount of group, rappers, uh, specifically the rapper you guys know I'm talking about, you guys like to pedestal a bunch of these rappers. Bro, LA is is deeper than that, bro. There's a lot of dangerous people out in LA that don't even talk on the internet. They don't even have an internet. They don't even have. They don't even care about the internet. People don't talk on the internet. So I'm never Duh. trying to disrespect LA. I love LA, bro. I love LA. Probably the best. I love California, bro. The the, the, the weather is the Boom. best there. You know, I love Los Angeles. The issue is. Um, and I, hey, I don't live there anymore, but I'm not folding. I'm really not. It's still f- you to the people that I was talking to. The problem was so I, I was saying that I'm going to go there and LA not on sh- uh, the LA is on sh- for real. Um, I don't want anyone taking me serious. I'm a, I'm a, f- uh, I'm, I'm a nerdy white streamer. Kid. No, no, don't try to resort to that. Now you was running your goddamn mouth and now you got to face the consequences. <laughs> If some shit go down, you're, you're this is very stupid. Even if the people who you're saying fuck you specifically to, if they're not specifically in that street life, they could very easily know people who are, and they know people who are. Shit runs very deep. It gets very clicky where people stick together here, okay? And they have each other's backs, and they're willing to do some wild shit for, for their homies. So this is all very dumb of you, don't you? I'm just a nerdy white kid. I don't know what's happening. That's not gonna save you because you wasn't saying it at first. So none of you guys take me seriously, please. No, that don't work. Okay, so actually, that don't work, man. Some of these streamers and influencers get on my nerves, bro. <laughs> a lot of them are so out of touch with reality, and they they are behind their cameras twenty four seven and thinking that they could just say whatever. And, and they so big and bad and they so tough. And, oh, you ain't going to do nothing to me when I get there. My security will slap the shit out of you. You making threats? What? Wild. Wild behavior. Uh, but, sure, this is what he chooses to do for, for engagement or for whatever reason. I don't know. It's all very dumb. Everybody involved is on some goofy shit. But, yeah, I think it's just a very, very idiotic decision to insult uh people's city and people in that city when you don't know who they know you don't know who they're affiliated with and what they could do to you i think that's very very dumb uh and in la of all places this is the ghetto anyway y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see y'all next time Bye.